In this video, I'll be helping you with the Alex problem type called solving a distance rate time problem using a rational equation. In this example, we have a rowing team that rows 60 miles going with the current, and then in the same amount of time that it took to row 30 miles against the current. We're also told that the current of the river is three miles per hour. And we're going to try to find the rate of the rowing team in still water. And I think it's helpful to draw a picture here. We have a river with a current of three miles per hour. The team rows with the current at some speed that we do not know. And then they turn around and row against the current at that same speed. And we'll start by recalling that distance equals rate times time. And since we have the same amount of time rowing upstream and downstream, we can use time as being equal in both situations. And if I solve this relationship for time by dividing the rate over to the opposite side, then time is equal to distance divided by rate. And so on the left-hand side, of my equation, I'm going to use with the current. So our distance is 60 miles and our rate going with the current is going to be that mystery speed X plus the three miles per hour. This will be the time that the team spent rowing with the current. And then against the current, they rowed for the same amount of time, but now our distance is 30 and the rate that they are moving is now going to be X minus the current, which is three. So we're saying this is the time distance divided by rate. They spent paddling upstream. This is the time distance divided by rate that they spent going downstream. And I know that it's the same amount of time up and down. So that's why we can say these are equal. Now that we have this relationship, we can begin to solve for x. Our two denominators are x plus 3, x minus 3. So my lowest common denominator would have both of those, x plus 3 and x minus 3. And I can multiply both sides of this equation by that lowest common denominator which has the effect of canceling the denominator on the left-hand side, leaving me with the 60 times x minus 3. And then on the right-hand side, the denominator again cancels, leaving me with 30 times x plus 3. So from here, we can distribute to simplify. 60 times x is 60x. 60 times minus 3 a negative 180. Distributing on the right, 30 times x is 30x, and 30 times 3, a plus 90. And now getting the x's on the same side, I can subtract this 30x from both sides, eliminating it on the right, and I now have 60x minus 30x, 30x minus 180 on the left, 90 on the right. Isolating the x, I can add the 180 over to the right. So 30x equals 270. Dividing by 30, we have x equals 9. And x is the speed of our team in still water. So they can row at 9 miles per hour, moving with the current. They're actually traveling at 12 miles per hour. Moving against the current, we would subtract that three, so six miles per hour. But our question was to find the rate of the team in still water. So that would be our nine miles per hour. 